have to wait like almost 24 plus hours for like any real action. There's still a curfew in Del Rey. So at this point, we're kind of just staring at each other. Cables on and off. Internet is garbage. I think that's because it's being throttled down because they opened it up for the whole state of Florida to use. All right, so I decided, I know it's really windy, I'm very sorry about that, but I decided to come outside because it's honestly like I can't even take well, being inside. Uh, look at all the cars on the road. Well, it's really windy. <laughs> I think I got sand in my eyes. So dad and I were getting a cabin fever and we're technically breaking the law. So I just want all of you to know that if someone says curfew, then you need to stay home. But I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> I still got my goal to go 2,000 more steps. Yeah, we got these Fitbit things to take care of. See, um, right now the Delray police have a, uh, a guard our guard station up and they're blocking the bridge access with cars. They're not letting pedestrians or automobiles cross. So, uh, we're so not... we, we were hoping to sneak maybe down to the beach, but it's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. We got all sorts of lights and things down there. Um, but that's probably it for the tour of uh, Del Rey before the storm. Right? I think so. Yeah. I don't know. We got all day tomorrow. <laughs> the hell are we gonna do tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know. Tomorrow's gonna be tough, man. It'll be like that. Really, will be curfew day. Yeah. Whoa. Feels like a hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished dinner, and um, and I'm like, oh, there's not gonna be a power thing. There's not gonna be a power thing. But the lights actually did just blink. I just asked my dad and dear Anna. Um, hey, has anyone put any batteries in the flashlights? So we're. We're scrambling now to, to get up. We look like we're in shape now because um, I'm thinking, I know I said, well, I don't think we're gonna lose power. I think there's a strong likelihood we might actually lose power. are starting to kick up quite a bit um, I'm using a blanket right now because I am freezing I've turned down the AC as far as I possibly can because I have no doubt now that yes I am going to lose power um, as such we have uh, we've already lost cable the internet is working uh, intermittently um, but my dad actually set up something pretty cool um, you know he's where I get my techie stuff from anyway this is a uh, this is an antenna so he was actually able to set us up with an antenna um, so we can still watch the news and find out what's going on and um, yeah, we're not supposed to feel the big effects until later this afternoon, um, but you can see the rain bands are already starting to starting to move a, a bit. Uh, again, I do feel safe. Um, we're not getting hit nearly as much as the West Coast, at least as of yet. And um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So uh, wish us luck. So we just had the 11 o'clock update and um, it's not looking too bad for our area. Right now the winds are at about um, 40 miles an hour with gusts up to about 60. But um, as far as getting like those crazy insane like over 100 mile an hour winds, they, they don't expect that for our area. That being said, um, in Miami there's a crane that just fell on a high rise. Um, and uh, it's definitely windy here. I wouldn't want to go outside. Um, there's no bands coming through right now. I'm not sure if you can tell, but um, it's it's still windy, and um, yeah, so we're just we're just hanging tight and um, homebound. And the people that are outside running around and driving, which we've been seeing on the news, I think they're a little crazy. So Dad and I were thinking about maybe going outside, and then and then the rain bands started again. So. So we're not going outside. So we're not going outside. <laughs> <laughs> but like serious cabin fever, like I, well, I can't yeah. take it. I now have 632 steps on my uh, Garmin. Um, I'd like to get up to about 5,000 today. May not make it. <laughs> I don't think you're going to make it. 
So we're outside and um, the noise you hear in the background is a generator because some of the area is starting to lose power. We got palm fronds in the pool. Whoa. Not too much damage down here. Uh, definitely a ghost town. <laughs> we got people walking their dogs. You can't really see where they are, but yeah, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I mean, my area's not so bad. My daughter made me go back out and take more video of this hurricane. So I just want you to know, this is what I look like. Behind me, he's pretty smart. He put a helmet on his kid. Okay, right. mm -hmm.